Okay, this is Smooth Fuego TV, New Star Radio 98.7 FM. I'm here at Wireless Festival. I'll be covering the whole weekend from Friday, Saturday to Sunday. Interviews with as many acts as I can try to get. Keep it locked. We're all about she and you're listening to Smooth Fuego. <laughs> okay, this is New Star Radio 98.7 FM, Smooth Fuego TV, and I'm joined here with... Hey. Now, I caught up with you, was it a few months ago? Huh? Yeah. A few months ago. Um, your single, I was just playing every single day on my oh, show. And we saw it. on Twitter as well. <laughs> yeah. so much. Now we love that. Yeah, I have to make you. sure that I tweet it so that you know that I'm playing the tune. Yeah. But um, you got your latest single out now. You're working with Burnham's own Jacob Banks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how did that collaboration come together? Um, well, we, we've known him for a little while, just, you know, through the scene or whatever. And we think he's an amazing talent. Uh, he sounded so original and we wrote the song and wanted to kind of get something really unique and original sound and take it that guy. And you know, he's up and coming like us as well, maybe like, more in heaven maybe. But uh, yeah, he's a lovely guy, he's a lovely soul and everything and he just brought something incredible to the track so. I think when we were doing the, e the EP as well, I think we wanted to have like the male and female thing going yeah. on with guy and another, another guy and I think they're complementing each other amazingly. Okay, yeah. Now I have to ask you this question. As you know, in America they have a lot of groups, labels, whatever you want to call it, such as Young Money, um, Maybach Music, etc. Now we're finally seeing it in the UK. Now you're representing Disturb in London. Yeah. You also have Jacob Banks renowned. Yeah. It's good to see that groups of so many talented people coming together. What, what are your opinions on that? I think it's important because one thing that Americans do do is they collaborate a lot and I think it keeps everybody, keeps everybody fresh, it keeps everybody relevant. And it's keep on top of your game, you know, when you, you've got somebody else using another team that's doing amazingly, you're kind of like, oh, okay, I want to vibe off of that, and you kind of vibe with each other, and I think in the UK, we definitely need more than that, and that's why Jacob and how was your performance in Wireless? I know that you prefer Birmingham to London. Yeah. Don't want to upset any London view, but I know that's true. But how did, you, how did you find the crowd? And the crowd were amazing, yeah. When we, when we first got there, they were, we were backstage, there was a few people there, and we were like, okay, cool, people would come to see, and then during the performance, more and more people would come in, and they all had their hands in the air and singing along, which was amazing. It was a great feeling. So who, who was on that? Because I was speaking to Mo before. They said the same thing, and they had BOV on the other stage, so they were like, "Yeah, we beat BOV." He was on the other stage. Big Wav was on the stage. It's a big deal. Oh, okay. oh, okay. He's killing it right now. Amazing. Definitely. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're kind of upset that we missed him. Yeah. Uh, we love him. Crazy. But then he was on the other stage at the time, but he shared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to hold you too long, I know you got loads of press, I know you want to you know, kind of get a choice and relax and fill out your performance. So I'm going to ask you one last question, you know the deal already asked. Um, as I come to my community stage, we have a lot of up and coming singers, songwriters. What advice could you give them based on the things that you've experienced? I think just stay consistent, keep at it. Never let, if that's your dream, that's what you want to do, don't let it go, don't let anyone tell you you're not good enough. If you believe it enough, make it happen. And if you work hard as well. Yeah, yeah that's an, under, an undoubted thing. You have to make certain sacrifices in your life. You have to make it your number one priority. It has been all about Shane Smooth Fuego TV, New Star Radio 98.7 FM. If you'd like to pick up all your social networks and introduce your track with Jacob, I'm going to go straight into it. Yes, we are on Twitter at All About She and Instagram at All About She. Um, and you can like our Facebook page, All About She Official. Okay, this is Smooth Fuego TV, New Star Radio 98.7 FM, and we are joined here with DJ Cassidy. How does it feel for you to be at Wireless?
supposed to be yesterday. He was in the crowd. Just enjoying this. I was. It was my one day <laughs> off yesterday. Um, I did the London show on Friday. Um, today is the final day. Yeah. Uh, so yesterday I came to hang out and I got to see Outkast. Crazy. And I got to see Bruno. Crazy. How did you find their performances? Uh, they were great. Actually, we saw Outkast a few days ago uh, at the BT Awards. Yeah. Um, they had a concert. Uh, second single, Make the World Go Round, featuring R. Kelly. And stay tuned later this summer for my debut album, Paradise Royale, featuring 22 of the most legendary musicians of the late 1970s and early 1980s, with vocals by John Legend, Estelle, Kelly Rowland, Melanie Fiona, Mary J. Blige, Chromio, Passion Pit, Neo, CeeLo, Robin Thicke, Jesse J., R. Kelly, and Usher. Okay, this is Smooth Fuego TV, New Star Radio 98.7 FM, and I'm joined here with Basement Jacks and TML. Now, Basement Jacks, you've broken and you've worked with a lot of different artists, such as Kelly Rock, such as Juna, such as Shaki, when I'm told you. How does it feel to be another newcomer? What, what um, got you to work with you today? We heard his voice. We liked his voice. Yeah. Yeah. We thought he had, uh, he came to the studio, we tried some ideas, he had a great attitude, good vibe. And he ended up being on the song and Never Say Never is coming out in August 18th. Yeah. With BTM, how does it feel for you to own legends such as Baseball Jets? Yeah, amazing really. Like obviously a big influence growing up and stuff. And um, yeah, it was a quite quick process making the track. Um, all there, just knocked it out. And, uh, first shows I've done really at these wireless performances. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the first? Yeah, the first yeah. one was Friday yeah. night and he did really well. How did you find that? Your first ever show? I can yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully you can try and make it better today. Well, we've got a good crew of people, so it's kind of like a Jack's family, so it's all very supportive. So everyone was looking out for him, he's like, yeah, giving him the power. So are you prepared for the Birmingham show now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for spending time with Smooth Radio TV New Star Radio. If you'd like okay. to see all of your social networks where they can keep up to date with you, Baseball Jacks and ET and Rob, and I'll go straight into playing your track together. Uh, anything, Basement Jacks dot anything, I guess, we'll, you'll find what we're doing. Yeah. And Power to the People dot FM, check that out as well. People all around the world are doing versions of our Power to the People song, different languages, different styles, and then you'll be able to hear them all together, all mashed up. So check that out.